If you're doing a live stream, if you're doing a podcast or even vocal recording, Lewitt has just made a new microphone that is going to change the game. We are officially in the future of microphones. Bolo! All right, so this is Lewitt's newest microphone. This is called the Ray microphone. And as you guys can see, I am pretty far away from this microphone. I'm really like about a foot and a half to maybe about 18 inches away from this microphone. And I still sound very good because of the new technology that they put inside of this mic. So even if I'm way back here and I'm talking on the mic and I can even get further back and I still sound good, I'm not raising my voice, I'm not raising my volume. And even if I get closer, as you guys can see, my volume remains pretty much the same. And the reason why is because of the technology that they put inside of this microphone. It's the new Aria technology, Aria, 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 one of them, A-U-R-A. You know, it's all the same, right? Now, this thing ain't perfect. Depending on your room and what type of reflections you have in your room, the further that you get from this microphone, you're gonna pick up some room reflections and it's not gonna sound as good as it is when you're closer to the mic. So if you have a really good sounding room, this mic is gonna sound good. But if you have a lot of reflections in your room, you're gonna hear some of those artifacts inside the mic. So, you know, it ain't gonna solve every problem. And one more thing, if you have anything between you and the mic, it is definitely gonna cut out your vocals. So if I put my hand like this in front of here, it's gonna cut it out a little bit. But if I put it back down, it sounds fine. So try not to have anything between you and the microphone. But I don't think that should be an issue. Now, the cool thing about this is it doesn't matter how close you are or how far you are, the mic compensates for either how far you are or it will adjust the game for how close you are and it will keep everything at a consistent level. This is crazy. And the reason why I really like this is because I know we've watched podcasts before where certain people will get on the podcast and they'll like lean back in their seat and you don't hear them anymore because they're not close to the mic and you'll hear the people say, hey, get closer to the mic. With this new technology right here, you don't have to do that because now if somebody decides they want to sit back in their chair and continue to talk, you don't have to worry about it because the mic is going to compensate for how far they are away from the microphone or how close they are to the microphone. Oh yeah, we're definitely living in the future right now. Now, the cool thing about this mic is you do not have to have this turned on. You can actually turn this off. So let me go ahead and turn it off for you real quick. So at the click of a button, you can just go ahead and turn it off. And now we're in just the basic microphone mode. So if I get closer to it, you guys can hear how much louder I am. And then when I get further and further back, I don't sound as loud as I used to be because now I'm further and further and further back. And I don't sound as loud or as consistent as I was when I had the Aria technology turned on. So now I'm closer to the mic. You guys can now hear me because I'm closer to the mic. But let's turn on the technology again. So now the technology is turned back on. So the more and more that I'm away from the microphone, you guys can still hear me exactly the same. And I am still consistent. Even if I turn the volume of my voice down, I am still consistent. And even if I get a little bit louder, I am still consistent because the mic compensates for the loudness and the proximity of my voice. This is crazy. This is crazy. And then to make things even better, they have a mute function on this microphone that works in two ways. One way is you can just press the button and mute yourself out. So I could be talking, 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 and I can just go ahead and turn the mute button back on. You guys can hear me. Pretty cool, huh? But then they have another mute function on here where you can long press the mute button and then you can allow the mic to set how close or how far you want to be back from the mic to where it automatically mutes. So I already have it set already. So now when I go ahead and pull back from the mic, I can keep pulling back, pulling back, pulling back. And then once I get to that certain range, come back in range, the mic automatically cuts back on. Now, I have it set pretty far back, but as you guys can see, it'll cut off. So let me go back again. Let me keep talking. 
back to the microphone. It comes right back on, and the Aria, Aria, Aria technology is still on, and you guys can still hear me very well. This is crazy. And it's only like for like 350 bucks, I think. It's crazy. Now, I said this could be very dope for podcasters and for live streamers, but just imagine when you have like one of those artists in the booth that are all over the place. They might be too close to the microphone or too far from the microphone, and you have this tool along with your compressors, your EQs, and everything else to make the vocal sound even better. And as you guys are hearing this right now, this mic actually sounds very good for the price. All right, so there it is, the Lewitt Ray microphone. This thing is dope, and for $350, you get a good quality sound. You get the Aria, Aria, Aria technology, and you get a lot of other stuff as well. You just don't get the microphone. You get the windscreen cover. You get the windscreen. You get the shock mount, and you get the microphone. Come on now. That's dope. So if you guys want to go ahead and get this, I will have a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and pick this up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.